Week 9, Force in Motion, first grade. First grade, we're going to work with some toys this week. I've made ramps for all of the students. They're going to work in pairs, so there's each student can work two to a ramp. And some of the words that you have in your teaks and force in motion is zigzag, back and forth, round and round, fast and slow, up and down, and straight line. So one of the things that I want you to do this week is let the kids experiment with this ramp. Like there'll be two kids on it. So I'm just going to kind of demonstrate some things. First, you have a glassy surface. I put clear contact paper on this part, regular cardboard, and sandpaper. So just let the kids, you know, see how their car travels. Don't do anything uh, too experimental. They just rolled and rolled and rolled on the different surfaces. Then we want to let the kids compare which car is going to be faster, the slick surface or the sandy surface. So let them start at the same time, let their cars go. Uh, then if you, you know, they can keep doing that as many times as they want. Like they could, okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down the regular surface and the slick surface, or I'm going to go down this surface and this surface. So it's whatever they decide to do on their um, activity. And teachers, another thing that we're going to do is use these little plastic wind-up toys. Your kids are going to have to be careful with this spring because they can break them. So they need to, you know, they just need to be careful. We don't want to break them. They're no good when they're broken. This little whale makes a zigzag motion. Lost his tail. You know, they're just going to see what pattern these the wind-up toys make. That one goes in a fairly straight line. And they have different toys in different packages because I didn't have enough for everybody to have the same thing. And here's a little chatterbox T. Up and down. Back and forth. And then we're just going to put some tops in here because they need to look at that round and round motion. The best way to do that is with a top. So we got tops round and round. And we've got back and forth. We've got... I just tied a washer on a string, and they're going to go fast, they're going to go slow. They're going to feel that pull of gravity on that washer. It's eventually going to slow it down if they don't go really fast. Now, you know, they could do this forever because they like doing that. But one safety precaution is you don't need to be twirling it over the top of your head, and you need to hang on to it so it doesn't hit another kid. So just kind of warn them of that. All the tables are going to be cleared out in this room and everybody's going to be on the floor.